Good evening folks. Tonight I'm going to be trying to cook some shrimp and I'm kind of making this up as I go along. I have a general idea of what I want to happen uh, but uh, I'm not following any specific recipe so if you try it and it turns out gross, change it. Alright, I'm starting with uh, just some shrimp. There are uh, but what I picked up at a local grocery store, they're raw, they were on sale, if they kill me that's why. Um, anyway, Whoop. since there's only one of me, I don't need that much, uh, let's see about that many, I think that's about 20 maybe, 15 to 20. Um, because they are frozen, I'm going to run them under cool water, you don't want hot water, believe it or not, but you want to run them under cool water for just a couple of minutes, excuse me, I have a cat trying to climb my leg. I haven't even started cooking yet, cat. Okay, these are most of the way thawed. Just gonna let them drain, shake them back and forth a little bit. I'm gonna try and butterfly them. But I just wanna drive my knife down the center of the spine there and uh, kinda spread them out. There you go, see? It's a nice spread out shrimp. One thing you should remember when you're eating shrimp is that they are not high in fat. However, they have a heck of a lot of cholesterol in them. So. Uh, bear that in mind. I don't know what the recent, sci the most recent scientific study says on cholesterol, but I'm guessing you don't want a whole lot of it since it has the, all those nasty artery clogging properties. Alright, so I've got all these shrimp. They've been butterflied. They are still raw. Don't eat them yet. I'm going to get this pan nice and hot. Now, this is something that you should not try at home without experience. Um, I'm going to be actually flash frying them. That's not the right word. I'm going to be using uh, vodka to cook these shrimp. This is 80 proof, 40% alcohol. Uh, you have to be 21 to buy it. I recommend you be 21 to use it as well. So what I'm going to actually do is put a light coating of oil. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be using olive oil on the bottom of the pan. Not too much, maybe about a tablespoon, since it's only a couple of shrimp. Let that get nice and hot. Now you don't want the oil really hot because if the because the shrimp are wet, uh, and if you put wet if you put water into hot oil, you will get a grease fire, which is really hard to extinguish and very dangerous. So I'm warming up the oil. I am not making it super hot. Uh, and then I will take the shrimp and add them while the oil is still getting warm. It's already hissing, you hear that? If you have a grease shield, I recommend you use it right now. And what I'm just going to do is put these shrimp over this heat until they start vaguely turning pink. And they are already turning kind of pink, especially around the ends on the tails there. Oh yeah, look at this. Here's a good one. You can tell how it's already turning pink. It was gray, now it's pink. I wonder how cooking first came around, you know? Was it an accident? No! Nah! Herb drop meat in fire. Herb beef meat in fire for another three minutes. That's so I'm gonna add some salt and pepper right now. Salt and pepper. And this is where the dangerous part is. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of vodka. Swirl it around and light it. Notice how I got my hand out of there nice and fast. going to burn the alcohol off and what's going to be left is going to be mostly water and because vodka is made from potatoes, miscellaneous potato juices, which by the way would be a great name for a rock band. Alright, now at this point you could add any number of things. Uh, you could add shallots, uh, chopped up vegetables, whatever else you wanted to make it a real stir fry. Since it's me, I'm actually going to go a little bit Italian on this. I'm going to add some pasta sauce. I recommend using Rinaldi. Uh, it's much better than the other brands that you see out there. Uh, particularly the ones that come with the yellow lid. Can't remember what they're called, but they're nasty. So I'm only going to add about a cup of this, probably. That's good. Oh yeah. I wonder how cooking with the alcohol came around. It was 
I have two theories. The first is that it was some sort of college-related drunken thing. Ah! Zach dropped beer in fire! Or perhaps it was a hypochondria. The only way we can be sure is to cook it and then douse it in alcohol and then burn the alcohol! Now, you could serve this over the carb of your choice, rice or pasta or possibly bread, although I don't know how well that would turn out, what kind of bread you'd use, but um, make a heck of a sandwich if these shrimp are shelled. I'm going to scoop these into a bowl. I'm just going to eat it straight. I'm kind of trying to cut out carbs, otherwise I'd probably have it with rice, uh, since that's fairly easy to make, or pasta, because that's probably easier to make than rice. Try one of these. The hard part will be getting it out of the shell without touching it because it's still pretty hot. Mmm. Mmm, that's wonderful.